you probably heard that you oh you should go vegan because it's better than eating meat or keto is better carnivore is better blah 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 so mostly people have only tried one diet that is actually healthy which is that one and they feel immediately better but it doesn't matter you could have given them any diet and they will have felt better immediately the whole point is to cut out all also processed food and that's what all these diet has in common but they're also all terrible in their own way because they have their own limitations and so on so for for you it's important to think about what limitation can we put on yourself you will probably have to mix some of it you have to try maybe both ends to see how you feel so for example i try keto it really helped me with my ap appetite because a fat and a protein is very uh, saturating so it makes you feel very full and that really helped me to stimulate my appetite because i just keep eating so i managed to eat less by eating that way but i also had to still go a bit backwards to include more carbs for my workouts and there's also the fact that some people thrive on a vegan diet some thrive on a carnivore diet and you just have to figure out what works for you and most people will mostly go on a omnivore diet but there is something you can follow it's called blue zones so it's small pockets where people on average um, become 100 years and the way they eat is not only what they eat and how they eat but all the things around because it's a all this is a lifestyle it's not something you do just to lose weight because the thing is when we eat healthy when we just eat meat food and vegetables then we have more actually more energy and we will also be able to control our cravings and, and what we eat. You will be less, you will crave less like candy and so on. And you also notice that your stomach will way better. You become less sick, better mood. You feel more, more full after a meal. And it's also 10 times easier to manage your, your weight. But when you start eating healthy, you don't just want to jump in into it because it's a new territory. You don't know, probably don't know any recipes. So you want to start small and build up with recipes and figure out what you like and what you don't like. So a great way to do it is either one time a week, one time a month, you cook one healthy meal that only include meat, vegetables and maybe fruit. Then you just cook that, you eat, try it, and then you can figure out, okay, do I like it, do I don't like it, and then you get used to it. You build up a few recipes, and when you then are ready to go for the jump, you maybe have 20 recipes now that that is delicious meals that you can eat. So the Blue Zone service around the food is also about socializing. You eat from the garden, homegrown food. The plates are way smaller, so you don't take all these big portions. And they also move throughout the day. But when it comes to the food, actually, there are some uh, trends that go over and over again, which is that they eat at least one cup of beans a day, a handful of nuts, a lot of leafy greens, fish, or a little bit of beef. And some of the core food you want to eat does have plenty of nutrients. It's fish, organ meat, beans, leafy, leafy greens, eggs, blueberry, and nuts. So if you can base your meals around these type of foods, then we will have a very good start also to get all your nutrients. And basically to sum it all up, you can have five, five points to sum it all up in, which is avoid 
also processed food, so everything with five or more ingredients. You want to eat whole food or one ingredient food. You want to eat the rainbow, which is that you eat all the different colors of vegetables. You eat a minimum of one gram of protein per kilogram body weight. And you can also do intermediate uh, fasting. So you make sure you have space between each meal 